Oh, it's raining. We can't play outside. Do you know where this rain come from? Hello, Gina. That is our lesson in quarter four, week three, science four. Let's find out. But before that, let's play four picks one word to familiarize with the words that we may encounter later. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Evaporation is the process by which water changes from a liquid to a gas or vapor. Condensation is the process where water vapor becomes liquid. It is the reverse of evaporation. Precipitation is water released from clouds in the form of rain, freezing rain, sleet, snow, or hail. The water cycle is the continuous movement of water on, above and below the surface of the earth. Yeah, hey, we made it. We can proceed with our lesson. Let's start with the processes in the water cycle. Water cycle? What is it? The water part of the Earth is called hydrosphere. This covers three-fourths of its surface. Therefore, water covers a larger area of its surface than land. That is why the Earth is called the blue planet. Water gives the Earth its characteristics of blue color as seen from outer space. Water continuously moves in the Earth's surface in a process called water cycle. Water evaporates into the atmosphere from the land and sea. Heat from the sun causes water to evaporate from oceans, lakes and streams. Evaporation occurs when liquid water on Earth's surface turns into water vapor in our atmosphere. Plants and animals then use and reuse water and release water vapor into the air. When plants and trees release water into the air, transpiration occurs. Animals and humans release water to the atmosphere through the process called respiration. Warm water vapor rises up through the Earth's atmosphere. As the water vapor rises higher and higher, the cool air of the atmosphere causes the water vapor to turn back into liquid water, creating clouds. This process is called condensation. When a cloud becomes full of liquid water, it falls from the sky as rain, snow, sleet, or hail also known as precipitation. Then these precipitations will fill lakes and streams, and the process starts all over again. What is the importance of water cycle? Water cycle is important because of the following reasons. Water cycle makes fresh water available in the form of rain. Water cycle keeps the amount of water on the Earth's surface constant. It is how water reaches plants, animals and us. It provides people, animals and plants with water. I'm curious, do you think Earth will ever run out of water? Fortunately, not. This cycling process means that fresh water is constantly made available to Earth's surface where we all live. Although there is a continuous cycle of water, only 3% of this water is fresh or potable. While our planet as a whole may never run out of water, it's important to remember that clean fresh water is not always available where and when humans need it. We can help protect the quality of our planet's fresh water by using it more wisely. Wow, how amazing our nature is. Now we are ready to take the tasks. Oh, yes, let's go. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Why is water cycle important? A. It provides people, animals, and plants with water. B. It is a source of money. C. It is not useful to us. D. It causes droughts. The correct answer is A. How can we protect our water sources? A. Planting trees. B. Using chemicals. C. Burning fossil fuels. D. Dumping of garbage. The correct answer is A. What process involved when water is heated in the ocean by the sun and turns into water vapor? A.
Condensation B. Evaporation C. Precipitation D. Runoff The correct answer is B. What process involved when water vapor is cooled and forms droplets and forms clouds? A. Condensation B. Evaporation C. Precipitation D. Runoff The correct answer is A. What process involved when the droplets of water in the clouds fall to earth in different forms? A. Condensation B. Evaporation C. Precipitation D. Runoff The correct answer is C. Wow! We're done with our lesson today. Congratulations! See you next time!